anywhere between three to five year kind of life cycle. So you have this antigen phase where you have growth and it can go for many years. And then you have uh, a catagen phase where it falls out. And then you have this telogen phase where it rests. And you can have 10 to 20% of your hair in this resting phase. And so the goal with a lot of different, you know, medications that are out there, we'll talk about that, is trying to pull hair out of this telogen kind of resting phase back into an antigen growth phase. So we have, I'll pull up a little image here, maybe if I can, to kind of help you guys out. So we really have three major phases. We have antigen, I think antigen, like anabolic growth, okay? And we have catagen, I think catabolic Right, that's going to be breakdown. And then the telogen, that's going to be the resting phase. 10 to 20% of all your hairs will be in that phase. Just an FYI on that front. Now, on that side of the fence, let's go into some mechanisms. So DHT, like I mentioned, plays a role. Now, DHT, has, there's some genetic components. Also, I believe there's some inflammatory stress components. So there's some thinking that Stress and inflammation may also upregulate DHT outside of just genetics. So there is that component as well. So we have to be careful of our sympathetic nervous system response. We have to be careful of our adrenals and overstimulating cortisol. And these are going to play major roles with that DHT and, and the inflammation mechanism as well. Obviously, hair is made up of keratin, which is protein. And so we need to have good diet, good nutrition. Because we have to break down our protein, assimilate good fats to build that raw material for that keratin on our hair. So protein and good digestion play a massive role. Oxidative stress. Oxidation is also going to fit in with inflammation because oxidation is when you lose electrons. Your body uses antioxidants to help stabilize that electron loss. And so things like glutathione play a major role. Good building block for that and acetylcysteine. Vitamin C also can be very helpful too. Um, Nutrients like curcumin, right? Curcumin is actually in that Folistim medication or that Folistim, uh, Nutrafol, I'm sorry, Nutrafol supplement you see online. You're going to see collagen in there. That's feeding the protein side. You're going to see curcumin in there. That's feeding the inflammation oxidative stress side. I'm a big fan of adding in NAC. It seems to do just as good in, as minoxidil in different studies. Um, next after that, I would say if you look at that, ashwagandha is in that product as well. That's playing on the cortisol kind of stress side as well because cortisol is that breakdown. So that's really important as well. And then um, biotin, which is a kind of a B vitamin derivative, is really important for hair as well. So biotin is another important nutrient. 